I used to routinely check the Mattress Factory's website under the uh, section labeled Artist Submissions. And I did this probably every six months for three years. And every time I looked at it, it said, we are not accepting submissions. So I thought that it was a scam and that they never accepted submissions. And then one day I looked at it and it said, we are currently accepting submissions and it was due the very next day. So I had to very quickly uh, put the stuff together and get it in so that it could be reviewed. And um, I was astounded and flattered and, and just amazed that um, they wanted me to, to, to do something. I think what I proposed was something like, uh, have me and my house come be guests. You know, I kind of work through the house in these stages and start very slowly through the first uh, room, which I wanted to be a kind of vestibule area, a kind of opening. And I wanted there to be a hint of that, which is up, 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 up. So that's why the music and the kind of pendulum and the cut through the floor, which starts to kind of give a hint of something. But then as you move through, it kind of moves from a little bit more of a recognizable study-like area and then into something which starts to get a little bit more distorted, contorted, reconstituted and then once one gets into the chair room there's a kind of pause, there's a kind of breathing space of sorts but then when you're back up again that's the darkness, that's the more dream world, that's the world where uh, the use of the projectors, the animations are more uh, explicit, the, the, the sound is more explicit, the use of light, it's darkened in order to kind of focus on certain areas with a higher degree of precision and then all of that is kind of activated by that continuously churning ferris wheel which creaks and creaks and creaks and creaks it's a, it's a kind of the timekeeper there and so there's a kind of rusty sonic pulse that moves us through that there was intended to be that kind of pro progression, but again, that wasn't, I didn't go there with that plan. I didn't go there with a premeditated idea that that's what it was gonna be. It was a process of working through the spaces, discovering the objects, making the connections with the individuals in the city, connecting with Barbara and Michael through their artifacts, and all of those things just kind of evolved as such. It wasn't, you know, I didn't have a, a set uh, plan, so to speak. I dream of city and house and model.